Good morning Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. What's going on for the sign of Taurus please? Sun, moon rising of course. Take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Here we go. <clears throat> Well, there you are, Taurus, <laughs> first card out, Hierophant. There's certainly a connection here <clears throat> that you're trying to make decisions on. You're quite happy at the moment, Taurus. You know, things are okay, but I'm kind of getting this, you're thinking about somebody else. There's... A decision here now there could be children involved in this but I'm kind of getting you trying to build bridges with somebody <clears throat> you're trying to repair a relationship stroke situation but yeah there's the devil here and two of cups you do feel kind of trapped you feel kind of claustrophobic with this you could be dealing with somebody that's obsessive, probably even an addiction. You're trying to clear this energy before moving on. I'm kind of getting that some of you are dealing with an ex, or certainly a person you dealt with in the past. It's like you're trying to clear that up before you move on. You do see this person as rather obsessive and clingy. You do see them as... Yeah. Toxic, actually. The, well, not them, personally, but you do see the situation as toxic. I'm kind of getting there was something revealed to you. Or there's going to be something revealed to you, a tower moment. Secret coming out. And it, it's got you questioning your beliefs, Taurus. Yeah, hidden secrets coming out. Things being revealed. I'm kind of getting a lot of the truth is coming out. Of course, it's going to turn things around on its head. And... Also, there's somebody here from your past that, you know, you've just been going round in circles on this karmic wheel, multiple chances, and, you know, it's the same thing happening over and over and over again. There's this, <clears throat> and there's somebody here going to try again, but the question is, do you want it? You could well be settled down now. I mean, this could go back a decade Six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And all of a sudden there's this past energy coming back. It's like the universe is saying, okay, you need to clear this karma before you can move on. It's not like giving you permission, but it's 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 an energy you've been dragging with you and it's been holding you back. You've been carrying a lot of energy from the past. And it's time to make a decision and end it. There is a major life-changing decision here and I'm kind of getting you've been avoiding it. Your intuition has been talking to you. This is certainly a time to be intuitive rather than being too logical. Yes, of course, you've got to put logic and practicality with it. But It's like stepping out of a comfort zone into something new. There's certainly a change in circumstances here, and I'm getting there is a decision here for a lot of you, either with a situation or with two people. Now, I'm picking up this word convenience. You kind of stayed where you are because it was convenient at the time. <clears> hmm. <throat> You know you must make a decision sooner or later because this energy is just going to keep building, building, building. And if you're not careful, you are going to end up with a tower moment. It's like if you don't make this decision, the universe is going to make it for you and something, an event will happen and 
everything will collapse. There's an opportunity here that's just come out of nowhere. You know, you're in like this moon energy. Uh, if you want to put a sign to it, that's Pisces. So you've got your energy, Pisces, you've got Capricorn here. There's, there's a lot of different mixed energies here, so it's not surprising your feelings are all over the place. You're trying to keep stability, though. You know, being a Taurus, <laughs> you know, you're very grounded yourself, very practical. You like to plan. And I'm also getting there's a bit of control here, Taurus. And what I'm getting for some of you is you're trying to control things that you can't control. Like this, for instance. You can't control this. It's too powerful. You're trying, though. I'll give you 10 out of 10 for trying. But all it's doing is tiring you out. It's making you apprehensive. It's making you cautious. It's making you question things. Mm. Yeah, you're working like crazy. This Four of Swords saying you, you need to rest. I'm kind of getting you're being very secretive as well. You're not broadcasting what you're doing. You see, this is very personal and very private. And what I'm getting for a lot of you, if you're trying to handle it on your own. Uh, if you're dealing with somebody with an addiction, you know, or obsessiveness, then yes, yeah, your immediate reaction will, will be very private. It's not something you'd want to broadcast, but you're going to get forced into a decision one way or the other, whether to change your circumstances or, you know, let this go. You're trying to keep your distance, though. Mm. Judgment call. Mm. Third party involvement. It's it's. You know, it's it's two love situations. It's two people or two situations that you do care about, and I'm kind of getting compromised. You're you're sitting in the middle, and for one of you, I'm getting that you're trying to mediate between two warring people, that's kind of very close to you, and you're trying to maintain the peace. You're trying to maintain stability. It's getting to the point now where I feel you're just going to give up and let them get on with it. You know, because you're tired of trying. You, for one or two of you, though, that it's the discovery of a third party. You know, this is a third party influence. And for some of you, this influence could be, you know, another lover. But as far as the tarot reading goes, collectively, it could be a child, children perspective difference, religious beliefs, cultural differences, could be anything like that. It's, it's, this Three of Cups is, it's, it is happiness and it's, it is a reconciliation of some kind, but it's also about compromise, seeing the other person or other people's point of view. Now, it could be the person you're dealing with is, you know, trying to separate from, somebody or something in their life and that it's, it's they're not talking to you they're not talking to you you can sense it but they're not talking to you but either way there's there's a person who's been afraid to commit whether that's you or the person you're dealing with somebody here oh, kind of getting you know you're hoping to, you want harmony with this person you want peace of mind but it's very, very difficult because this, all this outside influence, there's a lot of distractions going on. You, 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 everybody is taking their time. It's like everybody there is just sitting, waiting for the other to move. Mm. Sooner or later, though, one of you's got to move if you want to, if you want to correct this situation. From your point of view, you've got very, very mixed feelings about somebody's intentions here. Mm. I'm going to leave it there. 
because this is quite a complicated situation and for a general reading I could go on for another hour in which case you would just turn it off you know it's I like to keep my videos reasonably short for that reason because if they're too long I end up babbling and then you end up turning me off so I don't want that so I'm going to keep this short but yeah there's a big decision there it's it's kind of like you're stuck in the middle and you've got to make a decision one way or the other. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.